coming up next will be Pro Stock. The Fords, the Chevrolet, the Plymouth, and the Dodgers. Landy's highly modified Dodge Challenger is a pro stock machine. Qualifying is a unique problem. He must cut his elapsed time for the quarter mile as low as possible by finding exactly the right combination of hundreds of factors in less than a minute of actual racing. Our average at the big meets has been 990s. We're working very hard to find new combinations, get away from the old same rat race. We changed cams, exhaust, and intake manifolds all at once to try and gain another mile an hour. You're showing up at a track you've never been to before in your life, and you're going to have about four runs to dial yourself into the track. You have to just do things in the dark, like feel around until you find the right combination. Qualifying is over. 208 contestants qualified for the Super Nationals. Now the cash and prestige attached to winning Ontario Motor Speedway's inaugural drag race are on the line. first round of competition drags on over two hazy hours. The drivers stand idle, wiping the smog from their cars, thinking, waiting. For me, the first round is usually the one that gets rid of all the... of Gene Snow and John Decker. again faces elimination. The nervousness of round one is gone, but the intense desire and winning habits of a professional remain. The thing that I'm concentrating on the most is that I do my job correct. Are the tires hot enough? I'll concentrate very deeply on that. Double check the shoulder belts. Make sure the gloves on tight. I'll take my uh, foot off the clutch and rub it on the carpet to make sure there's no water or anything on it so it doesn't slip off the clutch pedal. Make sure I have my cigar, and I'll pull it up and stage it. Even Landy's lucky trademark, the giant unlit cigar clenched between his teeth, can't help him. His clutch shatters under the strain of a shift. For Dick Landy, the Super Nationals is another piece of history. begins when you climb into the car. Sitting astride a volatile combination of exotic fuels, 1,500 horsepower, and 8,000 RPMs producing terminal speeds in excess of 210 miles per hour is not like watching from the stands. Yet overall, drag racing must be rated one of the safest motorsports for both participants and fans. Round two roars into round three. Round three slides into round four. Among the professionals, individual drivers blast through race after race, marching toward victory. Pro stock driver Ronnie Sox, who has dominated the class, keeps it going. 
He takes easy wins round after round and gets a red light victory in the semifinal from Dick Oldfield's Motown Missile. What Ronnie Sox is to the pro stalkers, Gene Snow is becoming to the funny cars. Snow blasts through his opponents and into the final. In the fuel dragster class, Rick Ramsey and the California Charger, one of the longest long shots in the field, swiftly mows down the competition. An upset victory over Danny Ungayas puts Ramsey in the final. Perhaps some of drag racing's enormous appeal is related to its brutal simplicity. After hours of racing, it will come down to two men facing each other in a final showdown, like the gunfighters of a hundred years ago. There are no ties, and finishing second really doesn't mean a thing. smog chokes the dying California sun. Noises, engines and voices seem far away, muffled by the strain of hundreds of races. Only six cars, two in each of three classes, still have a chance to win it all. It's last call for the funny car final. Gene Snow's rambunctious against Larry Arnold's Kingfish. Both cars suffered engine damage in the semifinals, and their crews have been fighting the clock to get them ready. Kingfish's engine fails in mid-run, and Rambunctious hangs on to win. Ronnie Sox and his Barracuda, a virtually unbeatable combination, face Arlen Vanke and his Duster in the Pro Stock Final. The Sox and Martin team makes magic again. Ronnie Sox wins by seven one hundredths of a second. Two Californians square off in the top fuel final. Seasoned veteran Jerry Glenn and the come from nowhere phenomenon Rick Ramsey. Ramsey roars across the line in 6.709 seconds, a clear-cut winner. Drag racing, 20 years.